Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. It's Elder, and today I want to share with you another quick tutorial. And actually, this one I have already recorded it for one of my customers, one of my students. But uh, well, I think that it will be cool to share it with you as well, as considering that I haven't uploaded the video this week. And well, I decided to record it again because I wanted to move to to be more. Uh, in blocks master style. So basically what I will do, I will create the new project here and it's not for Justin only anymore. So, and basically, well, I haven't told you what I want to do here. I want to uh, create this type of design where we have one image on the one side, text on another. And so it's responsive when we switch to the like smaller designs, we have the image text, image text in this order, not like image text, text order, uh, image text, text, image, and whatever. So I want to create this design. Let me do that from scratch. And you will see how I do that. And by the way, there are many ways we can create this really, but this is just one of the ways. And well, I myself for my templates have used many different ways and it works fine. So first of all, what I will do, I will get rid of the uh, space on each side by setting the width to edge to edge full screen. And I will get rid of the padding. And then I will place inside a two column row. First one will be image like that. The second one will be text and heading, some type of heading. Now I will select this column, align the text to the center. And uh, yeah, let's select, well, we can select the whole block and duplicate it like this. I prefer to select the row and duplicate row instead. For many reasons, it doesn't really matter what you do, but I prefer this way. And as you can see right now, we have this like space between the images and it's not very good, not what we are going for. So we can get rid of this by selecting row and disabling the gutters on both rows here and it will be fine now and if we go to preview you can see that we still have this white margin on the sides it's because we have two rows we have the parent row here as well and if we disable the gutters for this row it will be fully edge to edge so let me quickly change the images like that and obviously we have a couple of problems still this text because we have set it uh, set the block to be edge to edge now this text it doesn't have any padding and it's not very good especially if we go to like wider screens it will be very very unpleasant to watch to see so what i will do here actually in inside this column i will place a div container we can place another column it doesn't really matter what you place there you can place div container and move the text and heading inside like that. Well, I will use the layer navigator much easier this way. Now inside this, uh, we, we have that heading and text inside this div container. You can actually quickly do the same here as well. Let's drag it inside div container like that. And now what I will do, I will select this div container and add the class, let's say blocks master content. And inside this class, I will do two things. First of all, I will make sure that we don't get too wide. Uh, the text does not get too wide because if it is too wide, it's not very easy to read. So let's say 500 pixels will, find, will be fine for me. And I will be selecting each side and typing A to margin to align it to the center. Now let's go back here, select this div as well and copy our class. Let's take a look at what we have now. It's already pretty much what we want, but obviously when we go to smaller breakpoints, it's not perfect. It's not perfect and well, let's go breakpoint by breakpoint to see how it looks. Not very good. So let's go to the second break point here and adjust the design. So let's see if we can still have half screen for text, half screen for image, if it will work. 
because you can see that we already have too much screen for this so it doesn't really look very good and I think I have made a mistake here because we don't need to set the width like I did for this content uh, content class we need to set it for the max width so let's type 500 here it will give us the same but it will not make it crazy big on other devices so other breakpoints so we make sure to use the max width instead of width my mistake happens so I think that well we can use this design kind of but I think that I would prefer to switch to the one column view from this breakpoint so what I will do I will just set the width of the image to 12 and I will do that for this image as well and I will do the same for our text here let's just switch it to 12 and this one was already one 12 and obviously when we do that we need to come back to our large breakpoint and make sure that we set it to what we want which is six we, we want to have two column view on this breakpoint so let's make it six and we will do the same for the second image okay now it will be like that on large on medium it will switch to one column and which is what i was talking about this is what i was talking about we have image text text image to change that of course we can use the order so let's select the column well actually let's select let's let's select the first column this text here and change the order to two and the image will be order one now if we go back to large of course they are translated here as well so we need we need to make sure that the image is two on large breakpoint so it's not affecting the large breakpoint all other breakpoints just set it to two oh actually it was one for other breakpoints we need to have image at one and column at two column at two like that so i think it looks how we want it to look except one thing i think that here we don't have any padding obviously let's just add a little bit of padding on each like top and bottom i think like 100 pixels will be fine for me and as you can see it, it looks good we don't have any padding here it is automatically aligned to the middle to the center because we used the, the column column this one this text we used this alignment so it is automatically aligned to the like vertically to the center and we used the auto margin class here to align it to the center horizontally as well so now i think that we have pretty much what we want you can see that when we switch to other breakpoints the text stays as we want it to stay and obviously you can see that on the, on the smaller breakpoints we have on the x on this one x s extra small breakpoint i think we miss some padding and once again we just go back to our diff container i think on mobile we don't need this much this much padding anyway so let's set the padding for top and bottom to like 30 and we will just add a little bit of padding on sides here maybe 15 or something okay now it should be much better on all breakpoints should be looking great so that's it for this week tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions as always leave them in the comments below or email me and i will get back to you